engine room. Welcome. Come in. I've just got to go and do the alarm. You are a very glamorous cleaner. Oh yeah, I like look glamorous. Before I came here, I put all my, I do my hair, I do my nails, my makeup. <laughs> I feel very happy. And the people here is like my second family and my second house. The engine room is a community media centre which offers anyone that walks in the door the opportunity to get involved in film and digital media. Uh, so my formal title is associate producer. So I project manage, I raise funds, whether it be for a film or a community right. initiative. We work a lot with people whose voices don't always get heard. We tend to be on the margins quite a lot of the time, partly because that's where life's a bit more interesting. What I do when I come in here is I'm usually talking to Debs about an idea. I wanted to do something but I couldn't really get hired anywhere because I've been off for so long and I've had kids and uh, and so I decided to create my own project. We're independent filmmakers and we've worked with the engine room for a number of years. They're kind of the hub of hub of Somerset where, where everything film happens I think. You know without this place I wouldn't have I wouldn't have managed, I'd still be at home, not doing anything. <laughs> There's nothing else that exists like the engine room. Is there a way of introducing... Oh, we're just preparing for our weekly broadcast of Ignite Somerset. No, it's a fantastic organisation. For a small team, an enormous amount of work um, gets produced. <laughs> Um, well, I normally make uh, documentaries. I worked for ITV for a long time, but um, I'm now freelance. So the engine room is great. It gives us that support and training. It's important to go to somewhere where people can teach you those technical skills and you get to meet other professionals. I am the bursary for Will, which basically means I turn up three days a week and do what I'm needed to do. And it's been brilliant. I feel like I've been really, really lucky because when I left school, I thought I'm going to have to get a shelf stacking job and I'm just going to be bored for the rest of the, my life. It's, it's brilliant. This is the shop next door. This is it. Two floors of space. And what, you, what will this space be used for? Well, we want to use it for a number of things. There's a demand for an archive area, hot desking for fledgling, creative businesses. It's for a proper online facility, which we don't really have, which the Arts Council have invested £250,000 in. And we just need to find the balance, which is where I'm a bit busy trying to do at the moment. Our giving back to the community is to let people from anywhere who want to travel in to our drop-in um, free access to the equipment. I mean, they can use anything, really, that's in the building. I have uh, written a book and <clears throat> it's due to the engine room that I've uh, been able to type it all up and get it into CD, get it to publishers, being accepted, coming out this summer. Uh, fantastic. I was wondering if you could, I wonder if you can demonstrate as, as how this build has as affected my love socially and, and, uh, and privately, if you know I what think, I mean, every, yeah, every Tuesday. I think for Dave, it's, um, you know, gets him out of his house. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. And also Dave's, Dave's mum is a saint. She's a lovely lady. Yeah. And... Um, she could probably do with the afternoon off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Day <laughs> so, well, that's it. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's all finished for the night. Everyone's gone, and um, I'm going home. What do you think about the engine room, Tom? It's great. It's brilliant. Best place in the world. <laughs>